We're going to be constructing a triangle if we're given the perimeter of the triangle and the two base angles. So how do we accomplish that? In the drawing here on our left, it's a good example where the perimeter of the triangle is given as 120 millimeters and the base angles here are given ABC is 30 degrees and ACB is 45 degrees which is this side so we already know how to construct 30 degrees and 45 degrees we will not be constructing these but we are going to bisect them to get point A so let's get started we are going to start with line EF which should be equal to the distance of the perimeter of the triangle that we are trying to achieve so I'm going to start with the line tool and I'm going to select my first point and we select our second point and we'll type in 120 units enter that represents the distance of the perimeter now the next thing is to get this line here up to D at 30 degrees so what we're going to do activate the line tool again from point E I am going to let me turn off um, author to get this line in AutoCAD we use a less than sign to get the angle and we'll type in 30 beside it and press enter now all we have to do is to type in a length so I'm just going to select here for now and press escape repeat the line tool and this angle right here now from F to D from the horizontal is 45 degrees so I'm going to start here and AutoCAD start at 0 degree here so 45 degrees would be somewhere here right we don't want the line going in this direction so we we'll have to continue this would be a 90 degree angle in AutoCAD a vertical line from where the point is so we need 45 this way so we'll have to add 45 to 90 degrees that gives us 135 so we are going to type in the symbol again a less than sign and type 135 degrees enter the AutoCAD now is drawing that for us and I can just snap here and we could trim off the excess by pressing trim press enter and then select those two edges we are going to bisect these two angles the 30 degree here and the 45 here to get point A R tool center start in and then we are going to get a common radius touching both arms I'm going to use 20 and that should be enough we just need to repeat the R tool and I'm going to use 20 again for my radius and zoom in one more arc from this point and I'll use my radius of 20 and we'll just stop it there and complete that process we'll just need to draw from here going through the intersection not midpoint we need intersection so we have to zoom in to ensure that we are at the correct point we'll extend that later we're going to repeat the same procedure to bisect this angle inside here which is a 45 degree and we're just going to stop there from this intersection for convenience we'll just use 20 again and scribe our first arc and repeat the arc tool and we'll do the same thing from this intersection same radius 20 and we'll scribe and stop there activate the line command from that point to the intersection right there press enter now we have these two lines all we have to do is extend them or we could use another command in AutoCAD the fillet command we could use the radius and ensure it's at zero press enter and we'll just select these two lines and then meet right here at that intersection all we need to complete this diagram now by following the procedures is to have parallel lines from here and these two lines up here so I'm going to select copy this vertex here will be copied to this point so I'm just going to press copy select where I want to copy from and select where I want to copy to and all we have to do is to trim off the excess and we'll have our required triangle trim select this as our edge press enter and then we'll just select this line and this line escape so what we could do is just to draw a line from this point to this point to differentiate between this line and this line because we want to select these three lines to highlight 
or objects so it shows the difference of our construction lines from our finished figure and this is how we we'll get the quiet triangle given the parameter of the triangle and the base angles. You can continue watching more videos like this in learning construction principles in technical drawing using AutoCAD.